Milani came out with a launch recently that is 100% inspired by the iconic Charlotte Tilbury liquid wands. I wanted to do a side by side for you guys. Now I have a haul coming up if it's not already up where I tested these for the first time. That was my first impressions. So I've used these before. But the more I sat on it, the more I wanted to do this video just to show you the differences because these Milani ones are really, really, really good. <laughs> so let me briefly go over the new Milani items that just launched. They launched three different formulas in these tubes and you can see the sponge applicators. So there is an under eye brightener, which I will not be showing today, but I did pick this up and it's really nice. Definitely check out that haul to get my first impressions on it. But this is not what I'm comparing to Charlotte Tilbury. It's going to be the liquid contour wand and the liquid illuminator. Now, I wouldn't say that they directly copied Charlotte Tilbury, but I'm sure with the success of these that they were like, let me launch something like that because Charlotte Tilbury was not the first brand to come out with products like this. But with this being the most popular product and Milani being a really great affordable brand, Let's check it out. So major details between the two. Obviously packaging is very different. It's not a direct copy, which I like that. Feels more original, you know. The Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand, which is the brown one right here, is $40. Whereas the liquid contour for the Milani is $10.99. So $10.99 versus $40. We're gonna go ahead and get into the differences between the contours right now. $40 versus $10.99, both have a a 12 month shelf life, but the Charlotte Tilbury does have a wee bit more product. There's 12 milliliters in this and there's eight in the Milani, but again, very big price difference here. There are also only two shades of the Charlotte Tilbury available and at least at Sephora, they're always sold out. Also on the website, they're pretty hard to get a hold of. So keep that in mind. I think the Milani might be a little bit more accessible unless something sells out. And there are four shades of the Milani. I have the second out of four shades, Ginger. Now Ginger leans more warm. The lightest shade is Honey. I'm interested in trying that to see if it runs a little bit more neutral. But let's take a look. Right here is the Charlotte Tilbury. You can see it's wet, it has a glow. Let me pull out the Milani. Here's the Milani. Whoops. So you can see they're definitely not color dupes, but again, I'd be interested to see the honey shade in Milani compared to the Charlotte Tilbury. And the look of the formula is also very different. You can see the Charlotte Tilbury is more watery and thin, whereas the Milani has more thickness to it. Also to now take a look at the difference between the applicators themselves. The Milani is smaller and the Charlotte Tilbury is bigger. What I will say that I really like about the Milani is how small it is because it's really great for a nose contour. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you how they apply to the face and the differences. I'm telling you now beforehand that these are not dupes, but the Milani really is a great alternative, which is why I'm sharing this with you. So here's the Charlotte Tilbury. Here's how it works. As you can see, we definitely have a more cool undertone. It's okay to over apply in the Charlotte Tilbury because look, it's so watery and thin that it really does work itself out and blend itself out. It takes little effort to blend that out. And again, let's get down here. But I do feel like with the Charlotte Tilbury, you do you lose a lot of that pigment. I wish it had a hint more pigmentation, but it still ends up being really natural and beautiful. And this is why the Charlotte Tilbury became so popular. It was simply just so easy to blend out and beginner friendly because working with liquid contours like this can be very intimidated. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how the Milani works. So I'm gonna squeeze this out. And remember, it is a thicker, more pigmented product so you really need less. And take a look at how this blends out. It blends out very easily, but it doesn't spread so thin as the Charlotte Tilbury. You do have to work a little bit to get it blended out nice and evenly and over the areas that you want. In my haul, I said the Charlotte Tilbury works itself out. The Milani, you do have to blend it out, but it takes no elbow grease. And you can see it still looks beautiful. The Charlotte Tilbury, I think, has a little bit more 
glow to the skin but still the milani she holding up and she looks good so between one or the other i think i still prefer the charlotte tilbury but if we get back to the basics of the price the milani really is a great alternative it works like a very high quality product and i'm honestly very happy with both i am going to continue to enjoy the milani because i love the small applicator of being able to just contour in places without making a mess the charlotte tilbury simply is just not as good for this precise style of contouring because the applicator is larger the consistency of the product itself is liquidy so it's more difficult to blend out in more precise areas i mean do you see how quickly i was able to blend out the milani so there are pros and cons to both products but i just i wanted to show you the comparison because this is juicy guys this is good <laughs> let's get into the beauty light wand from charlotte tilbury versus the liquid highlight version from milani again the exact same price difference 40 dollars versus 10 $10.99. Now the Charlotte Tilbury is a little bit different in that they offer six shades of this and two formulas. One finish is more highlighty and sheer. The other finish has a little bit more pigment. This is one that's going to have that radiant finish as opposed to the shimmer finish. And then here we have Lunar from Milani and there are four shades of the Milani. Lunar is the lightest shade from Milani which leaves me a little concerned because I feel like they could have made a brighter one. So let's swatch these. And I don't I don't know if Charlotte Tilbury has a closer color dupe to the Milani, but I have Spotlight, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that. You can see this is very reflective. I don't have Goldgasm, but I'm curious as to how it would line up against Lunar from Milani. So here's Lunar. So you can see right away, Lunar has less of a metallic finish and a little less pigment, so it's gonna be more natural on the skin. Again, I'd be curious to see how Glowgasm from Charlotte Tilbury would line up with this. But let's get it on the cheek. We're gonna start off with Charlotte Tilbury. I have no powder on, by the way, obviously, besides my eyeshadow. I'm just gonna do three dots of the Charlotte Tilbury, and we're gonna push that into the skin. I find the formula of the liquid highlight to be a little less watery than the liquid contour, by the way. The liquid highlight from Charlotte Tilbury normally has more of a base, I feel like, but that blended into the skin beautifully. You can see why this is so popular. Let me show you how the Milani performs now. What did I do? Three dots. So instantly, the Milani is much softer. So if you want more of a gleam, you're gonna have to apply more product than the Charlotte Tilbury. And don't pay attention to the color, but pay attention to the finish here. Charlotte Tilbury has more of a metallic finish, whereas the Milani has more of like a creamy, natural finish. I'm gonna do a thicker layer of the Milani that we can see. I kind of prefer the look of the Milani more. It looks more like a glow from within. And what's amazing about the Milani, given the price point, it does not disrupt anything underneath and it works good over powder too. So the performance of it in general is just really really good and i think because the charlotte tilbury is more metallic it actually emphasizes texture a little bit more than the milani like the milani really just blends into the skin it's absolutely stunning don't get me wrong i really like the charlotte tilbury highlighter wands but i kind of prefer the milani over the charlotte tilbury I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and we're going to close this very interesting video out. Honestly, you guys, Milani really did their thing with this launch. You can tell they were heavily inspired by the Charlotte Tilbury wands, but I think they're different enough. I wouldn't call these dupes, but again, they are alternatives. And honestly, when it comes to the liquid contours, I'm more likely to use the Charlotte Tilbury for that quick blend around the face but when it comes to more precise contouring i'm gonna use the milani more just because of the applicator when it comes to the beauty wands i think i like the milani better i really do i just like the finish of it better on the cheek but i do like the colors that charlotte tilbury has more so both are great products it just depends what fits your needs best what fits your budget best i was really excited to do this science experiment with you on camera so that you could see so let me know down below what are your thoughts which one would you rather pick up and i think milani really did kill it with this launch 
such good quality. Honestly, you guys, these perform like high-end products at an affordable price. So I will definitely be featuring these in more videos in the future. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Make sure you like and comment, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Thank <laughs> you.